morning. Ah. I'm out on a bit of a recce today, and I know I don't normally bring you with me on recce's, but I thought, well, why the hell not? I've developed quite a thing about woodlands. <laughs> it's muddy as hell out here, and oh, yeah, I've got most of the wood on the bottom of my shoes. I've decided to come out and explore my local woodland. In particular, I'm looking for woodland that has a specific plant in it. And I think I've found it in this one. It's flipping awesome. It's not in bloom yet. It is interspersed with wood anemone. Oh, I managed to say it right. Ah. And bluebells. Not so much in the way of bluebells at this wood. Not that I've seen at the moment, anyway. I hadn't realised... Let me just change hands a second. Oh, I said that there were so many local woodlands. I have another one to go and explore after this. None of them that I could have got to during lockdown because they were just pushing the whole keep it local bit a little bit too far. Now I've been to the other side of these woods on a recce and I couldn't see anything on light, but I definitely like these. So we're going to go back this way. The woodland seems to be a mixture of young saplings, because we've got silver birch, we've got beech, not so sure we've got oak. I don't recognise that one, but I'm fairly sure that's not an oak tree. But apart from having recce, it's damn good exercise. The smell of wild garlic is phenomenal. Even though it's not bloomed yet, it's wonderful. And I found this track that I'm on is twisty and gnarly, and each side of it is lined with wild garlic. It's just beginning to bloom. What a place. It's a bit difficult to walk around here, because this track is so narrow, Oh, the smell. Oh, if only photography and videography could have smell-o-vision. It's wonderful. I had no idea what to expect when I came here. Well, I found my way. There's a little scruffy pathway just behind me here. So I've managed to come over to this swathe of wild garlic. But it's still got a really messy background. There's a branch coming in off a tree over here. There's a bush thingy right in the middle here. It's really not a pretty scene. So I've broken the wide angle out. because I'm really enjoying using the wide angle, although it's not what it's intended for, on the flowers. So I'll flip you around and show you what we're up to. So I've gone into landscape orientation and I'm focusing on this bad boy here. I'm on the 10 to 20. I did have a 0.6 grad on because originally I was shooting with the sky in but that didn't give me quite the effect I wanted so I'm pointing it down a little bit lower and that's kind of the image that I'm going for 
I've got this bad boy, where is it? <laughs> there, that bad boy there, around about just over the third line, and then the rest of the flowers sweeping out behind it. And I kind of think maybe it works. Let's see. That's the closest I've managed to get to a composition. Oh, I stood up too quick and got a blood rush. Whew. But this wood, oh, I'm loving this. There's so many opportunities. I'm really getting into wildflowers as well. And we've got some beautiful seed heads coming out. The dandelion seed heads, but there's just a bit of a breeze. And there's not enough light, I don't think, to try and capture a close-up of those. And I do prefer them when they have some moisture on them. I should really carry a water bottle. I'm going to head off that away, and there's a path that will run down there that will take me back. And I'll see if there's anything else I can pick up on the way. Well, I'm making my way back to the car because I've been here for far longer than I expected to be. I had a look for the Arum Lily on my way back, but we've had huge amounts of rain over this last week, and I think the shrubbery that's around them has just swallowed them up. They will appear, and I keep seeing leaves. Let me just see if I can show you this. These leaves here. Oh, no, I can't. Let me turn you around, that'll be easier. Yeah, I keep seeing these leaves, and I believe they are arum lily leaves. I may be completely wrong, and I am gonna check on my plant finder, but I think that's what they are. But the reason I've stopped up here is for these babies. And these, I believe, are snake's head fritillaries. I'm not sure that's going to focus on it. It's the best I can get. Now, they're also not fully in bloom yet. And if they are snake head fritillaries, they'll look gorgeous when they come out. And it's the only clump that I've seen. There's some beautiful wildflowers. There's some lovely little purple ones down here. I have no idea what they're called. And like a muppet, I didn't bring the macro lens with me. I think I might be bringing that with me next time because this wasn't about macro really, this was about nice expanses of wild garlic. But those little purple flowers are lovely. So I might just bang the 70, 70 to 200 on and see if we can capture anything. So I'll post up any images I get. I'm gonna be shooting on the 70 to 200 just to give me a really nice creamy background. I'm gonna shoot as closed down as I can because I want you to be able to see the background but not to the point where it's distracting. So I'm hoping for somewhere around F8, F9. I saw I've pumped up to 200 because there's a little bit of a breeze and I want lots of light to come in to make it a, it's quite dark down here, obviously, because we've got the canopy of trees. So I want quite a slow shutter speed, but it's got to be fast enough that I don't get movement um, from the breeze. So I'll post up anything I get and I'll catch up with you next weekend. Lord knows where we'll be then. Bye for now. I know, I know, I said it was done. But there's another wood opposite the wood I've just been in. And I thought, oh, I'll just sneak down the road and have a look. Now I haven't got the gimbal out because I am actually on a bit of a time scale here to get home. I've popped the 17 to 55 on. I have the polarizer on. And I'm just gonna go for a quick walk. So sorry about the wiggling and jiggling. I didn't want to spend too long here and I knew if I got the gimbal out and all my bag and all the rest of it, then I'd be here for ages. It's quarter to two and I need to go home and do food shopping and have lunch and then whiz off to see my parents. But I couldn't resist this. Let me spin you around and I'll show you what I found. Now that kind of doesn't look too inspiring. This is what caught my eye, this little path. So I'm gonna wander a little bit further up. There is an image there. I found it before I went back to get my camera. Now, this is what I've been looking for. 
where we have a path, and it's not the most exciting path, there's a little wiggle in the middle with wild garlic on either side, and I'm sure if I walk down further, there'll be even more. There's actually a V shape here. We've also got a path going off here. So I'm gonna see if I can make anything of this. Now again, this wild garlic is out in most of the areas, but not all of them. I think I've got two images that I like. The wind is really picking up. And because it's dark down here, <laughs> I'm not really getting 100% sharp images because there's movement as the wind is blowing. There definitely seems to be a storm coming in, some proper black clouds up there. So this has just been a, a test to see what's here. But the next weekend I come back here, this will be properly in bloom. As will the other woods, fingers crossed, that I found. If that one isn't, this is going to be 100% better than it is now. And right now it's really good. There's some motorbikes in the background, so I could be just about to get run over. So I'm going to take one more shot here. I'll pop up the images I've got. Catch you next weekend. I'm definitely going this time. Bye. Bye.